Hi and welcome to this digital short which is about online forms in the classroom. You can find online forms as part of G Suite and Microsoft's Office 365 for education. They're really easy to use and you can use them for creating quizzes and tests, polls and surveys or even for registration for events or gathering data like email addresses. If you're using Office 365 probably makes sense for you to use Microsoft Forms. You find them in the Waffle or App Launcher within Office 365. And if you're using uh, G Suite or Google Apps for Education, then it would make sense for you to use Google Forms. Again, you'll find them in your App Launcher as part of G Suite or Chrome Apps. You can also use online forms from Microsoft and Google just at their web addresses. So you go to a search engine, search for Google Forms or Microsoft Forms. You can sign up and log in just with an email address. When it comes to creating a new form, um, it's dead easy. I'm in Google Forms just now. You see the plus icon and you create a new form. From there, all you need to do is add different question types. In Microsoft Forms now, again, in top left, you'll see the new form icon and you choose here a form or a quiz. It's worth pointing out the quiz feature in Microsoft needs to be selected at this stage, whereas if you're in Google Forms, then you create the form first of all, and then go into Settings, Quizzes, and make this a quiz. Um, the quiz feature is really valuable for the classroom because it, it basically automates your marking. It means that you can set right and wrong answers, and it means you can add feedback comments for each specific answer. So if we go into this pesky plurals quiz just now, then you can see they've got a few questions. Uh, we'll look at this one about the plural of knife. And if I scroll down, you can see where we've added the feedback comments. So we've added uh, feedback comments for the correct answer and for each wrong answer. And you can specify uh, you know, different comments for each one, which means that the, the pupils are getting targeted feedback depending on the answer they've chosen. And that could be really powerful um, in terms of speeding up your workflow. Another powerful feature is the, the, the fact that you can add images and videos. So in this space quiz, we've added some pictures of the solar system and Saturn, and we've based our questions on those images. Sharing, again, is dead easy. Top right-hand corner, and you can send a link, a QR code, embed code for pasting into websites, or you can email the link out. You can also send an edit link so that people can collaborate with you and work together to make quizzes and surveys. In Google Forms now, you just click the edit link and again the send icon is really prominent in the top right hand corner. And again, same kind of links, um, email, embed code. Um, here we've got social media links as well, which will create posts to social media for you. Responses tab in both Google and Microsoft Forms lets you see a graphical impression of how people have done with each question type. So here we can see that uh, a number of people did well in the first question, but in the second question people struggled. That tells me as a teacher I needed to spend more time on the learning associated with question two. You can also view individual responses so you can see how each pupil has done on an individual basis. And once you've finished, you can export everything to a spreadsheet for further data analysis and tracking. The next video we'll see is looking at creating questions and further settings in online forms. Thanks very much for joining us in this one, and I look forward to joining you in our next digital shop.